So for those of you that follow the channel, you know we just unboxed our new Pixel 9 Pro XL in that rose quartz colorway. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, big fan of this. However, still scratch prone. And there are a ton of accessories this year that Google is offering, as well as obviously all the third party manufacturers. We have a ton of official offerings from Google case wise and some third parties as well from the Google store and Amazon. We have screen protectors I wanna go over today with you guys. So if you're interested in finding the best case reasonably priced, a, the best fast charger you can get for your Pixel 9 series device and a screen protector, this is the right video for you guys. Let's jump right into it. So we have quite a few number of cases. Let's go ahead and start with Google's official offering here. And as you can see, this is in that porcelain color, very simple packaging. It really actually matches the interior coloring and kind of that cardboard look of the actual package itself of the Pixel 9 Pro. Jumping right in to open this up, you can see exactly what that design looks like. Nice soft microfiber feeling interior to protect the device and that shiny G logo. Let's pop this right in and unsurprisingly, very clicky buttons and it feels very good. So you can see with that rose quartz color exactly how this porcelain colorway looks. And again, this could possibly be one of the better case options out there. If you are a fan of what Google offers, I'll throw a link up down below for all of these products. Keep in mind, you can buy them in a number of different locations and these are gonna be all across the spectrum of price point. Let's go ahead and take this off and set it right to the side. Next up, we're gonna have a tried and true channel favorite, Caseology. And this is their Nanopop case. We've done reviews on their video or on their products before for iPhone cases, wallets, MagSafe accessories. These usually, as the name kind of gives away, has a little pop of color. And for the Pixel lineup, that color is right around the camera bar. You have a nice grippy texture. I'm gonna try to get in this for you so you can see on the bottom. So you can feel it. It is somewhat of a softer plastic case than what the Pixel offering is, but it does feel very good in hand. And then sliding the Pixel right in. This is exactly what you can expect from Caseology's offerings. Again, you can hear that. The buttons are very clicky still here. And I think it actually gives it a good look. So. We'll take this baby off, set it down there. And again, another tried and true is Spigen, who make a number of cases, who is not new to the game, but have again, some of the better offerings. This is a clear hybrid case that actually lets you see through that colorway. If you are interested in seeing the color of the device you picked, which again, big fan on that one. This has a black plastic exterior. And again, you can kind of see exactly a similarity with all these cases this year with that camera layout and design. Let's go ahead and peel this plastic off. So no grip on the sides like the Caseology case had, but it still feels very good and light in hand. And then popping the pixel in. Oh yeah, this might be my favorite right now. This looks good. I love how you can see not only the accents of the camera bar, but the actual transparency on the back of the case really calls attention to the color of the Pixel 9 this year. And I will call out too, it's hard to see, but on the edges above the camera here, there is a little shockproof protection lip. So if it was to drop, this is still not gonna take the impact. That'll take some of that away. Here is one of the other ones that is a very unique offering that I think Google found this year. So as you can see here, plenty of uh, Google information cards here, warranty from Modus, um, or Mouse, excuse me, who makes this case. This is another unique looking case design. And I like it because look how that pops. So has a little stretchy outliers here around the corner bottom of the case. And also this is a much more harder plastic case. And as you can see, we do have that Chi Chu 
Chi Chi 2 ring around the back that will help with MagSafe accessories. So if you wanted to utilize something, you could easily stick on there a little better than what you'd get otherwise. Let's pop this out and put this one right in. You can see it's a little bit of a slimmer case too, and that is what you're getting there with cutouts for your volume rocker and power button on the side. I definitely like this look. It's a little thinner, like I said, but it does still pop with some of their colorway options this year. So next on the list is actually another Spigen, but this is one of the more intricate designs. If you want something a little fancier, you can see it looks like one of those x-ray cases. So let's go ahead and open this one up and take a look. And as you can see, it is a darker, kind of smoky black color case with that transparent design language. Again, this is more of a solid, harder plastic case as well. Let's go ahead and actually peel the plastic off of these. Gives you a little better look. All right, and there you go. This actually looks pretty damn good as well, if you ask me. The smoky color of the case and the rose quartz color of the phone really do complement itself pretty good. I really do like that. So this is their Zero One Edition case. Pretty common nowadays, they make it for a bunch of devices, but here's the latest for the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And then lastly, as far as cases go, we have another one by Tori, which is another manufacturer on Amazon. Let's take a look at this one. Comes with a little sticker, it says Paradise, kind of cool. This is going to be another transparent case with that MagSafe ring in baby blue and that transparent colorway. Let's pop this one out. And this one on. And there you go. Kind of nice, the accents with the pink and the light blue colors. Nice tactile buttons. Again, I'm a fan of this because it actually splits the button placement up, whereas opposed to the actual phone itself is not split, like we talked about before. Power button and all of your ports cut out. Yeah, this actually feels very good in hand too, and you can see exactly what that colorway looks like. And lastly, what we have here is a glass screen protector. I wanna go ahead and open this baby up and throw it on for you. This is one of the more reasonably priced glass options out there. Tempered glass is always the best way to go, personally, instead of those plastic options that are out there. Uh, they just seem to last better and just honestly give it a better feel. So, as you can see here, it is another one of those scenarios where you can simply place the uh, adapter or the aligner right over the phone and you are able to get it installed very, very quickly. I had never used this brand before, so we're gonna learn together and see just how good it really is. So the package does come with two screen protectors. One is already on the aligner here, as you can see, and there's an extra one that comes right in the package if you wish. This is supposedly one of the easiest solutions because you don't have to pre-prep for it and remove all of the actual dust you might have on your device. All you need to do is set it down, line it up, and literally pull that back, and it takes everything you need off on that piece right there. And as you can see, it is aligning. It says wait five seconds. It's going up as we speak right to the very top. I'll just push it along a little bit. And then all you need to do is lift this off and peel that back. And that is it. So, the screen protector is already installed here. If you have any sort of bubbles, you can obviously use that scraper and flatten it out. But otherwise, that's it. It is on the device. It does say you need to re-register your fingerprint or turn up that sensitivity, so keep that in mind. Um, as you can see, it used my face to register, but you will need to fix your fingerprint there because it is a thicker glass piece. 
It's working now, but I don't believe it is going to be as good as it was prior, as you can see. So we'll re-register that, get the sensitivity up. But other than that, you can see how easy it was to actually install. And as always, one of the big questions when you put a screen protector on, how they work with cases. As you can see here, it worked perfectly fine. The corners align very well. We just threw the Spigen one on here and yeah, no issues.